something exciting has arrived. You know what? I have not had enough sleep. I'm going back to sleep. Let me show you the robot hoover. Is that a tank? There's a tank there. I've had lots of caffeine. I feel good. I look like the lost member of NSYNC right now. <sighs> I'm fucked. Monday morning, it's just gone half six and I'm on my way into the office. This week is going to be a busy one. I've decided this week to try something that I've been speaking about for a while, which is moving my morning gym slot to the evening. So still waking up around six, half six in the morning, but rather than going to the gym and doing all of my kind of life admin first thing and then not getting to the office until nine when there are client emails in my inbox where there are other people in the office where I have to get going immediately. I'm gonna try to get to the office for around quarter to seven, 7 a.m. each morning and then spend a couple of really focused and undistracted hours on those key tasks early. So I would normally do patter sale stuff from 9 a.m. onwards for a couple of hours for this week, I'm gonna sneak something in above that. Starting this morning with writing a proposal and hopefully getting those couple of hours of deep work in before the day begins will help me squeeze everything into this week that I want to because this week is going to be a busy one. It's gonna be very unexciting from the perspective of a vlog because it's, it's really just gonna be me in the office working a lot of hours, however, in the real world out here it's going to be very busy this week is also the week of the cardiff half marathon so on sunday i will be running the cardiff half marathon which is exciting i'll be honest i'm a little bit nervous because although i know i can do the distance it's just a big deal right it's the first time i've ever been in a like a race so to speak where there'll be other people and there'll be people watching and it'll be organized and all this stuff so that will be something that I'll be thinking about this week. And then other than that, this week will just be fairly unremarkable. There is a huge amount I want to get done in the business. There are quite a few client meetings. Uh, there are some new content bits that I want to work on. There is the half marathon at the end of this week. So this would be a good chance for you to see what one of my office based weeks where I'm just in the office getting on with things all week really looks like. Uh, I'll bring you along and I will catch up with you a little bit later. Got a couple statements to make and some paper to chase I've been grafting all year, still ain't taking a break Fam, I need to vacate, get my shades out the case Trust me, can't nobody ever throw shade on the H Shit ain't never easy, I had to wait for my plate Hella promises were made, but man, they're blatantly fake Had to change up my ways, I just weighed up the game Now the radio plays are just making me cake Look, it's easy, got your girlfriend in the feelings Then I'm linking Simon, talking millions in meetings 19 years old, four bills and we go eating 19 on the plate, four circles on the keyring so the time is 20 to five, still in the office. I have been here for what feels like forever, but what I spoke about this morning, the idea of getting in early and then those morning hours being productive has absolutely worked. It is crazy how much I've got done today. Um, two and a half thousand word proposal, a bunch of client reporting, a bunch of internal meetings, uh, other stuff that I can't remember. I've been here for a very long time. I got a couple of hours of work that I still need to get done between now and going to the gym a bit later on. So the next thing on my list is gonna be a little two hour work vlog just to tidy everything up that I need to. But in the meantime, something exciting has arrived. I think I know what this is. So running the Cardiff Half Marathon on Sunday, like I spoke about and the t-shirt that I'm gonna be wearing, which is part of running it for the Alzheimer's Society, turned up to my house in Northamptonshire, 200 miles away the other day. And I'm not gonna be back there between now and race day. So they sent another one. I've not seen this. Hey, there we go. Actually looks nicer than I thought it would. They look a lot darker in the photos. Nice, decent. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. But it looks all right. I'll take it. There's also, you probably can't see it on the camera, but it's very like porous, which would be nice to run in because I've realized that when you run in normal t-shirts, it just feels horrible and you get very hot. But there we go. The t-shirt has arrived. It's all feeling very real now. And it is six days until I run the Cardiff Half Marathon. Right, I'm going to finish off that bit of work that I just spoke about, get myself to the gym, and then I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow unless anything else exciting happens. I'll see you then. So it's Tuesday morning, it is just before 10 a.m. I've just got to the office. I've gone to Greg's on the way into the office to get a massive bacon baguette because I fancied one. Uh, my alarm went off at half six this morning, as was the plan, and I thought, you know what, I have not had enough sleep. I'm going back to sleep. So I went back to sleep, woke up around half eight, opened my calendar, 
removed a couple of bits that don't need to be done tonight a few filming bits that were definitely optional so everything i need to get done will still get done today and i got more sleep and i'm feeling good and i got my coffee and i got my gregs and i'm going to go into the office and begin working i don't think there's anything remarkable to tell you about today i can't think of a single exciting thing that's going to happen today it's just going to be one of those days of getting on as always got a bunch of meetings from tomorrow onwards so today will be the final day of the week where i have just undistracted endless hours to get done what i need to and then this evening i'm going to edit the podcast episode of nick butter so i recorded this an absolute lifetime ago and it is probably one of if not my favorite episode of the podcast ever it's so good he's incredible his story is amazing he has ran over a thousand marathons and i've been meaning for a lifetime to edit it and to get it done and i just haven't had the time so i forced it into my calendar today i'm going to edit it today hopefully release it next wednesday i guess and then there is lots of thinking to do around the podcast and the content not dropping it to be clear that makes it sound like i'm thinking about giving it up that's not the case but in my mind there is a a pattern of releasing certain types of content on certain days in certain ways that makes a lot of sense that I think would be really good but I need to really plan that for it to work Um, so that's running in the background of my mind right now I'll probably let you know about it in a few weeks if it works and this this idea I have comes together of releasing certain things in certain ways I think it'll be really good but I'll let you know when I get to that in a few weeks time in the meantime I'm gonna get my stuff go and eat this food which i'm very excited about go into the office and just work and i'll catch up with you in a few hours time looking at the charts come like looking in the mirror murdered every feature when you greet me call me killer rapper not a preacher god forgive me i'm a sinner but i know you got my back so i give thanks before my dinner hottest jungle in the uk give a fuck what you say they was popping back then cause it's a new day rapping but i'm mac 10 you're 30 you're too late running up your gums you ain't worthy it's too fake new camera angle unlocked it's just before 5 p.m and i'll be honest yesterday was really productive and really good and i got so much done but today i can't really be bothered it's been one of those days as you know from earlier i got in late because i slept late and then i've done what i need to today but i have just moved some sizable tasks that either i wasn't going to get round to or i don't have the energy to do to tomorrow and to the next day so today i've been focusing on pulling together work that we've already done ready for some review meetings with clients tomorrow thursday and friday and also finalizing a proposal that needs to be out of the door tomorrow that's about it i'm going to do a couple more bits now and then edit that podcast that i spoke about this morning but i'll be honest i am doing the bare minimum today i'm doing what i need to until i can go to bed and sleep because i'm tired and i'm feeling it and i think that 13 hours in the office yesterday on six hours of sleep and then going to the gym and trying some new style of workout which included circuits beginning with 500 meter rows and then a bunch of movement basically the summary of all of this is i'm tired so i'm doing what i need to today uh then editing that podcast and then aiming to be out of the office as soon as i can don't know what else to tell you about today there's not a lot of exciting stuff going on um the hoover broke last week so we got a robot hoover i'll show you that i guess i can show you the show you the robot hoover that'll make some content for today what do you film on a day when you can't be bothered and you've just sat at your desk all day working and you're going to go home earlier than planned and you've got less done than you thought you would you pull out the robot hoover that's the answer let me show you the robot hoover look at this there's a bit of popcorn on the floor we'll try and clean this up with the robot hoover i I don't know what that beep means oh he's going the wrong way already Nope, that's the Hoover. That's me. Nope, the popcorn isn't that way. Go this way. No, it's going that way. Right, hold on. I'm told there's a remote somewhere and you can control him. But I don't know how to do that. I don't know where the remote is. (laughs) I'm going to move him. Let's put the, you know what, let's put the popcorn closer. Go on, go forward, yes. Yes, look at that. I wonder if I can put the camera on the robot Hoover to film the next bit, let's find out. Good, okay, I think that's everything I have for today. I will see you tomorrow. Robot Hoover, magical. 
Wednesday, it's half past three, and I am leaving the office to go and work from Starbucks, which I don't think I've ever done before. I don't think I've ever left the office in the middle of the day to change my scenery, to go and work from somewhere else to focus. But I got in this morning, we had a meeting with a client, which turned into a three and a half hour long chat, which is fine, which is good, but it just means I am knackered from three and a half hours of talking. And then just before I left, another client popped in and we ended up speaking to them on a whim for about an hour, just about bits and bobs. So after almost five hours of just talking in the office today, I never really got into work mode when I was in the office. And I have a big long list of kind of small admin -y tasks that I need to take care of, emails I need to send, things I need to finalize. And I'm sat at the office and I'm like, you know what, today just isn't the day. So changing the scenery, going to sit in this Starbucks for a few hours, I'm gonna grab a coffee, get some caffeine, and then just do it. Today has just been meetings so far, so not a lot to tell you about, not a lot to show you. I had a virtual physiotherapy appointment because I have a pain in my back, which has been there for years, but it's been a little bit worse recently. And I think it's just to do with my posture when I sit at my desk all day, but I thought I would book a physiotherapy appointment, so we did that. And uh, is that a tank? There's a tank there. Not sure if you can see that on the camera. Crazy. Someone bought a tank and they're transporting it. So I thought I would book a physiotherapy appointment, did that, and one of the things that she wanted me to do is a bunch of stretches and movements so she could see my mobility. Now doing that on a webcam in an office, having just popped out of a meeting briefly to do it, I felt completely ridiculous. But apparently my mobility is terrible and doing some stretches and some exercises for four weeks and having a check-in with this physiotherapist each week is the way to go, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I have nothing else really to tell you. I'm gonna go to this Starbucks, bash through maybe three or four hours worth of work. And then I wanna go to the office tonight and test something with the new content bits that I spoke about the other day. Uh, I have an idea that I want to try for a way of editing reels, so I'm going to go and have a play with that later on. And then tonight, finalise that Nick Butter episode and then go home. I will try and catch up with you later on, depending on what happens. But in the meantime, I will See you soon. Her chopping rhythms up with YJ, got a whip a new tape. Blocking women out my life, I ain't got time for you, babe. Box of liquor on my rider, trying to find a new wave. Call the driver, run outside and get inside the new shape. <laughs> taking a piss, ain't popped a pill, but I'm taking a trip. Straight to the moon and then straight to the booth. Go and lace up my shoes and head straight to your bit. So it's just gone 9 p.m. I'm in the office and I have just spent way longer than I care to admit pissing around with a TikTok that I've made that purposely look shit. So I have this theory, right, run with me here, that polished content in places like TikTok, especially when it's the kind of life lessons-y, uh, lessons I wish I knew sooner style content that I produce, if it's too polished or it looks like I'm taking myself too seriously, I think it lands less well. I think there's a little gap for the same kind of content that I'm delivering, but just purposely scrappy, purposely looking a bit shit. So I started playing a minute ago and came up with this little kind of shit posting style video that who knows i'll let you know how it goes uh so i went to starbucks earlier worked through my entire to-do list had a coffee way too late i'm paying the price for that now and then came to the office tidied up did that tiktok just posted it gonna see how it goes and that is it for today so i'm gonna head home try and get some sleep although it'll be a struggle cause caffeine and i will see you tomorrow it's Thursday, it's 1pm, I've just finished a two hour long sit down with a client where we ran through a bunch of stuff that we've been meaning to go over for a while. That was very productive, I bought four cans of Red Bull on the way in, we had two each, I've had lots of caffeine, I feel good but I haven't eaten yet so the next thing on my list is going to be to go and get some food. And then for the rest of today I'm just in the office, I've got a bunch of things I need to work through, there's actually nobody here today and Richard is away in Manchester doing a pitch for a big project. I'm waiting to hear back from that. I hope that pitch goes well. I hope that we can move forward with the project. That'll be something I'm waiting on for the rest of today. And then other than that, it's just gonna be sitting in the office, working through some things, doing a bit of work, doing a bit of planning. So I'm gonna get on with that work, get out of here as early as I can, and I will catch up with you a little bit later on. Basically, I'm going crazy with this. You ain't taming me, please stay away from the kid. Hit the belly, now I can't stay away from the fridge. Really popping, you ain't stopping me, I'm made for this shit. One step, two step, kill a rapper, who's next? Pussy, I'm the truth. So don't ever get the youth vex Doing what I do, I'm making moves I've got my clues set Headlock in the game Gonna finish it with a suplex It's Friday, it is half past 11 in the morning I am just leaving the office From my final meeting of the week 
which means I feel like I have a new found freedom because there are no more meetings this week, which is good news. I'm just on my way to get my hair cut very quickly, grab some food and buy a couple of bits that I'm gonna need ahead of the Cardiff Half Marathon. I've run out of electrolytes and annoyingly the electrolytes I get from Amazon are well expensive right now with Amazon's like velocity pricing. So I'm gonna buy them in person instead. Uh, what else is today? Today is new album day from Ed Sheeran, Autumn Variations. I have just listened to the first like third of it. It's really good. The remainder of today is basically just going back to the office, finalizing a few bits ahead of the weekend, having a couple of very brief chats with clients to confirm some details and then I am going to go to Cardiff and just have a little day out. I think I told you last week that I go to Cardiff every Friday when I can and just have a little walk around, just do my thing, have a nice time. So that is my plan this evening. I should be finished quite early today, which is exciting. Oh, by the way, I'm not sure how the vlog ended last night. I just didn't record like a nighttime link. So whatever you just saw, if it was messy, I apologize. But I think that is everything to tell you about today. Uh, as always, I'll bring you along. I'll show you what's going on. But I'm feeling good. I've had eight and a half hours sleep. I'm dressed in all white like I'm in my 90s boy bandera. I look like the, the lost member of NSYNC right now. And my phone's ringing, so I'll catch up with you later on. I've been killing it seriously. Where the fuck have you been? Be the odds and block the haters. Every point got proven. Let me in and now they sit because your boy's a nuisance. Take the piss a little bit, but you can't knock the movement. Mum and dad are happy, shit be taking off And they ain't got to worry about a mortgage Cause I paid it off Had to take my shot because I really couldn't take my job Now I'm making crop, it's kinda hard to find a way to not The time is just before 11pm I'm recording on my phone very quickly Cause I've realised that for a second night in a row I have forgotten to do any sort of vlog thing that wraps up the day and I imagine when this gets edited it's all going to be very confusing however uh, I went to Cardiff I did my normal walk around but I changed the route so I did like 14,000 steps which is about average for what I do on a Friday night I literally just go to Cardiff wander around have a nice time have a hot chocolate listen to music whatever but I went to look at the race village for the Cardiff half marathons I need to go there tomorrow to pick up my race number and before then I was really nervous actually nervous about the uncertainty of getting up at half six in the morning and having to get to Cardiff when all the roads are closed and trying to go to a particular warm-up thing that I want to go to beforehand which if I go to I'll tell you about on Sunday um, but then being in the race village area seeing it all being built like it is a hive of activity at like 10 p.m at night it's really cool to see it all coming together walking past the like final straight with all the sponsor boards and the finish line and just everything and then kind of comparing that to how it will be 36 hours later on a Sunday. I was just smiling as I was walking down the road because I'm like, this is so cool. Like, it's so cool. I'm really excited. I'll still be nervous. Like tomorrow night before I sleep and Sunday on the way there, I'll be nervous. However, I'm very excited and it's going to be good. Uh, I bought some more running socks because I don't know where my running socks are. Um, and tomorrow I need to pick up my race number. But other than that, all is good to go. I'm ready, I'm excited. The Just Giving is so very close to 3,000 pounds. I think by the time I wake up, it'll probably have passed that milestone, which if it has, is incredible. If it hasn't, it's still incredible that this much money has been raised for what frankly is a fairly minor event, but thank you to everybody who has donated. I'm sure for the next few days, between now and the end of the video, I'm not gonna stop talking about the half marathon because other than a really small bit of work that I need to go and do tomorrow morning because, long story, I need to go sort something for somebody. Other than that, the only thing left this week now is tomorrow, chilling, and then Sunday morning, waking up, getting ready, getting to Cardiff, and running the race. Morning, it is Sunday, it is Cardiff Half Marathon Day. It is just before 8 a.m. I did not get much sleep last night. I think I eventually fell asleep around half 11. And then, I don't know if it's just me, but when I need to be up early for something like a flight or a really important meeting or something like today, it's almost like my mind knows that I need to be up early. So it'll keep waking me up through the night. And I think that I woke up at like 5.40 a.m. I was hoping to get up at half six. And I thought, you know what, I'm awake now. So I've had probably five and a half, six hours sleep, which is okay, I feel all right, but I am tired right now. I'm sure I'll wake up later on. Uh, my plan is this, I'm gonna drive to Cardiff now. I've just stopped at McDonald's. My plan was to get porridge, right? Healthy, good idea before a half marathon. They didn't have any porridge. So I ended up getting a sausage and egg mug muffin, which I don't think is a great shout before a half marathon, but there we go. Also got a 
small coke with no ice, cause sugar. And so I'm gonna drive to Cardiff, park in some allocated parking, which I have. I have no idea what the traffic's gonna be like with 13 miles of road closures, which is why I'm leaving so early. And then when I get to Cardiff, I'm gonna walk over to Boot Park where Harry from Jog On, which is an amazing YouTube channel, is doing a kind of group warm up before everybody who watches him on YouTube and is taking part in the race takes part in the race. So that'll be cool. That's happening at I think 10 to nine, so an hour from now. And it's a big old walk to get from the allocated parking to where that meetup is going to be because of all the road closures. Get that sorted then get down to the start line. I think my start time is 10 past 10 this morning and then get it done. I don't know what else to tell you, but I am still a mix between nervous and excited. I think the closer I get now, the more excited I get. It's, it's less about nerves at this point because frankly, there's nothing I can do for any of the kind of unknown variables and more about excitement because, you know, I've been looking forward to this for basically the whole year. I have been training on and off for this for basically the whole year. Last night we passed £3,000 raised for the Alzheimer's Society, which is incredible. I think it's on like £3,080 now and the Just Giving stays live for a month after the event, so I'm sure that'll climb up ever so slightly again, which is amazing. And then yeah, last night I just kind of sat down, I tried on everything I needed to try on to make sure that the top and everything worked for the race. and then. I just kind of reminded myself why I'm doing this, not even in a deep, profound way, but more that when you're doing all of the training for something like this or, you know, fundraising and pestering people online to donate or whatever it might be, it's quite easy to forget that actually this money that's being raised from this event, from I think there are 500 people at this event alone running for the Alzheimer's Society, isn't just numbers on a screen, right? It's real money that will go towards the real work that this charity does to help those living with dementia, something which my granddad had, something which my gran has, something which my dad has. Like, people don't understand, I think, because I didn't understand what diseases like Alzheimer's really do to people, right? It's not just that you get a bit forgetful and you kind of misplace your keys here and there. Like, this disease steals everything from millions of people and there's no cure. Bear with, I'm trying to have a profound vlog link and there's some prick up my ass who's now gonna undertake me, good. This disease takes everything from people, both slowly and quickly, and it's hard to describe what I mean by that, but it's like, in the day-to-day, -day, you don't really notice the difference when you're watching somebody who has Alzheimer's, but then, before you know it, you blink and they're an entirely different person, and they don't know who they are, and they don't know who you are, and they don't know where they are, right? And all of those ambitions that they once had, all of those dreams, all of those ideas, all of those memories, they all disappear. And like I say, there's no cure. There is very limited treatment right now, but fundraising for charities like the Alzheimer's Society, like Alzheimer's Research is important because all of us are going to rely on their work at some point in the future. If it's not somebody you know very well in your family who develops dementia, it could be you. Like the statistics when you zoom out and look at how many people will be living with dementia just here in the UK by say 2050 is staggering. And it gets even more staggering when you realize the, the social care provision that will need to be in place to deal with that, right? It's even more staggering when you realize that those affected aren't just those who are diagnosed, but a huge number of family members around them who all have to change their lives and their lifestyles to help somebody they love. So. This is all to say, number one, if you have donated, thank you. Number two, if you haven't, please don't worry about it. Like, I only want people to donate what they can, if they can. But this is all to say that reminding myself last night why I actually started this, right, before I got lost in the training and the fundraising and this and that, was useful and it was helpful because the money raised by everybody who has donated is going to do good and so, if the cost of that is me having to run for a few miles around the city on a fairly pleasant day on an October morning, fine, happy days, right? And that's the same reason why, and I hinted at it in last week's episode, and you'll probably hear me hint at it more and more as I try and work out the logistics of it. I want to do something a lot bigger next year. This guy here is sprinting, you can't see him. The guy absolutely sprinting. I wonder if he's doing a warm up towards a marathon, but I will continue to just do what I can to help raise awareness and raise funds for, for this charity and for similar charities and for this cause, because obviously it's important to me, but I think that more importantly, it's going to be important to 
so many people watching this right now, even if you don't realize it yet. And so that's it. I am just getting into Cardiff now. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going, so I need to watch the sat nav. Did my driving test around here almost exactly three years ago today. Red light camera ahead. Good. So I'm going to go and park up, get changed into my running stuff, go and try and get to that meetup in time, do a group warm up, get down to the start line, run the half marathon, and then come back to the car, and I'll give you a little bit of an update of how things went. <sighs> I'm fucked. But we got it done. Two hours, 16 minutes. That was a lot more difficult in the second half than I thought it would be. Um, my Strava, annoyingly, you can't see, but I promise, my Strava, for the first time ever, just randomly started pausing mid-race, right? So it ended as a total of 18K this race, which means that when it kept pausing, I had no idea what my pace was. So I set off way too quick. If I could see my splits, I'm not sure if the marathon website will show them. If I could see my splits, I imagine that the first half, the splits are very quick. And then I got to the second half and it wasn't my breathing. My breathing was fine. Actually, I was just chatting to people all along. It was my left ankle, which is actually normally my good ankle, was just on fire for the second half. And um, my blood sugar, you know what? I did not eat enough carbs for the last few days to the point where I felt a way in the second half of that race that I've never felt before. I was like tingly and no matter how many gels I had, no matter how many sweets I got from strangers, no matter how much I was ingesting, I just couldn't get my blood sugar to where I felt okay. However, none of this is an excuse. I'm happy with two hours and 16 minutes. I think that is a solid effort for my first half marathon. It's a shame it's not under two hours. However, I think I could crack two hours with relative ease number one don't stop training two months before the event number two make sure i carb load appropriately for the last few days before the event number three drink enough water because my hydration yesterday was not on point but yeah it was good it was fun bumped into a couple of strangers who i got speaking to for a few kilometers the first guy's name was lewis he was a g he really helped me and then towards the end i scooped up a guy whose name I cannot remember, but I've got his Instagram, and he was walking, and I was just like, yo, let's do the last mile together, because I know you can do this, and it was fun. Uh, it was nice, everything hurts, but I feel good, I'm happy I did it. We raised over £3,000 for the Alzheimer's Society, which is incredible, it was amazing to see so many people out there, 27 and a half thousand runners all doing their thing, most for charity, really cool. I will be back, I will be back, I'm really excited to get some marathons, plural, and my belt next year. They will be miserable, I'm sure. It will hurt, I'm sure, but it will be good fun and it'll be worth it. I'm gonna go to the office, sit down, do what I need to do, and then I'll catch up with you later. I think it's gonna be a tradition that I end the vlogs on my phone, because yet again, this week, like last week, I can't be bothered going to get the camera. It is 20 to three, I'm in the office, I'm in pain, I'm tired. My Here's what I found. Okay. Where were we? It's 20 to 3. I'm in the office. I'm in pain. My toe is purple. I'm not going to show you. How has that happened? No idea. Um, yeah. Half marathon was all right. It's done now. I might sign up for another one by the end of the year to prove to myself that I can do closer to 205 because fixing those two little things that we spoke about earlier, if I spoke about them earlier, I can't remember, those being blood sugar and my ankle. I think I mentioned them. Can't remember. I was dying in the last clip just after the race. Fixing those two things will easily shave at least like seven to eight minutes off of my time. I could comfortably sit at 2.05, I think. So I may do it by the end of the year, just somewhere random. I'll let you know. I'll keep you up to date. Uh, that is everything. As always, thank you for watching this. Thank you for getting this far if you have. I hope that these vlogs are getting better. They will continue to get better. Maybe not more exciting because I live a very unexciting life, but definitely better in the way they're produced and the way they come together. This is the second episode ever, so there's still a lot of work to do. There still will be a lot of work to do for a while, but if you're not already, please do go down there and subscribe if you like this video and you wanna see more because there will be one every week for as long as I can keep this up. Right, I'm gonna go and feel sorry for myself for the rest of the day, be in pain, work out why my toe is purple, and then hopefully have recovered enough by tomorrow morning to come into the office and do a normal day because Everything hurts right now and I need it not to. Thank you for watching. I will see you next week.